freaking terrible. But we'll work hard to solve the format. Seven wins. And I'm sure we'll make it there. All right. What is up, my friends? Welcome to Bronze to Mythic. Show where I draft my account from Bronze to Mythic, which you watch on the YouTube. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Hit the buttons and do the thing. Support the channel. Support the content. We're on the precipice of finding out if diamonds are forever. One win away. Hopefully they're not. Uh, so let's get back to our draftos here and uh, keep drafting Marzakarlov Manor. One win from Diamond. We're on a great pace. Honestly, we're, uh, this is only episode 13, draft 13. We're hopefully going to be in Diamonds this draft. Uh, just need one win, you know. So, uh... Oh, so I hope I'm not foreshadowing, but uh, and then of course we got our myth from run from diamond to mythic, and uh, the line's 22.5. I'm feeling pretty good. I'm not gonna lie, I'm feeling pretty good. So let's rock and roll and do the thing, and maybe open up an Aurelius Vindicator. That would be awesome. All right, let's go. Ugh. All right. Um. Yeah. Not quite the rares we were looking for. Uh, Treacherous Greed's a really weird one, honestly. Uh, I think this card's pretty bad. Uh, this one's kind of all about getting on the board. And this card does not get on the board. It takes you off the board. Uh, so, I don't know. I, th I think it's okay, but your deck needs to be really well suited for it. Um, we had it once, twice in a testing house with the Pro Tour, and it wasn't very good. I think this card's kind of eh. We got World Souls Rage, which is fine. Uh, it's obviously a Fireball. You know, just reasonable. And it can do some cool stuff with sack lands and stuff like that. Uh, kind of a cool card, honestly. Pretty fun. Uh, we got Soul Innervation, which is obviously an okay removal spell in black. Inside Source, Person of Interest, both great commons. What do we want to do here? Um, I might just take the World Souls Rage. Just a Glit Weaver, too. I don't know. All these cards are so, like, middling. Let's take the Rage. Let's do some uh, some big green rampy stuff. Oh, no. Lazav! <laughs> That's exactly the opposite of a red-green card. Lazav's insane. Uh, Lazav is really, really good two-drop. It isn't probably one, you know, one of the worst color pairs. I don't know. It's, it's one of the best black color pairs, if black is obviously bad. Uh, but this card's excellent. It's 2-3 for 2, which would be great in this format anyway. And if it attacks, you get a clue. You can do cool copy stuff. Card's pretty awesome. Uh, so we got that one. We got Whist Drinker Vampire and Greenbelt Radical, both great on commons. And the commons are, eh, you know, Bite Down Crime is fine, but... Uh, obviously, we don't know what our opponent took here because of the packs. You know, if this was like, if this was a an old school draft format, we would know. Oh, our opponent took a common out of this pack. We can figure out what commons there are. They're probably not going to be blue black. There could have been like a Vayner burn this pack. We have no idea. You know, so it's kind of annoying in that respect. But taking the rare here, I'm not getting past Lazav and not taking it. Uh, let's take the Lazav and let's do our thing. Reminder, of course, the uh, the numbers you see. Oh my God, this packs are juiced. Uh, are the drafts with overlay. This number here is LSV static ranking for the set review. This is the the ranking from untapped, uh, just kind of a generic ranking based on all the games played. And the bottom number here is your important number. This is the number based on all the cards you've already drafted as well, which is important too. So we got Gleaming Gear Drake and we got Wish Drinker Vampire, both super solid cards. No commons in the equation here. Also have a, a, a Thundering Falls. So we could end up being like a multicolor deck uh, and play Rage and Lazav. Uh, there isn't really a card here in blue or black I want to take by itself, which is kind of annoying. Uh, I mean, Gear Drake does play pretty well with Lazav. Whisper Vampire are sort of similar. This is a hard pick, actually. This is a really hard pick. Uh, I'm going to take the land. We're just, like, always going to play it. And, like, I think taking Gear Drake there is totally... Oh, my God. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. <laughs> waka, waka. All right. Oh, we already have a, a dual land and two good multicolored cards. Uh, are we are we doing this again? Are, are we? We've done a Nimbus and Guilt back deck once. Uh, it's kind of hard not to. I think. Uh, uh, I think my I think my chat and my comment groups would kill me. What do we think? Take Nimbus and Keeper Mulligan. I think five color good stuff is reasonable. This card is totally fine. Uh, Pascal was crushing us at the PT house with a few five color decks. Uh, nothing else here is great. Obviously, we've got like eavesdroppers fine, ages is fine, but all right. I think uh, I think we're doing it. Let's take the Niv, and uh, let's see where we can go with this. What? What? Inconceivable! <laughs> Double dog walker still in the pack. Pick five. What are you doing, people? Um. All right. What does the Niv do again? It it's it triggers on the the multi card cards you already have in play. Okay. I mean. 
this is like the second best common of a set. It's really, really good. I don't know how you get two of these uh, at that point in the draft. I guess mostly rares and uncommons are taken, but um, I guess I'm taking Dog Walker. Like, no other card. It's the best card in the pack by far. Obviously, we don't know what colors are going to be yet, but all right, let's take the take the Dog Walker. Uh, only gold cards is apparently our stipulation here. So, uh, we have Case File Auditor, which is a card that I actually like a lot in defensive multicolor decks. Usually, you're playing a lot of enchantments. Uh, you're playing the O-Ring, the green-white uh, Lost in the Garden card. Uh, Drug Order is definitely not where we're at. So, I'll take the Auditor here. I think I'm pretty fine with the Auditor. We're really, like, not sure where we're going yet. Uh, so, Escape, escape Tunnel is where we're going. There we go. We know... We know we're playing Escape Tunnel, that's for damn sure. Uh, nothing else here is great. So, you know, the rival's pretty good, everything else is kind of whatever. So, slam the tunnel. And we got Unscrupulous Agent, which is quite good. A Dual Leech, which is okay. Vigilante, so... Um, again, we have literally no clue what our base colors are yet, but that's, like, fine, because we'll kind of just figure it out, I guess. But <laughs> Oh, we're doing it here, folks. The Waka Waka is on. All right, we get chat in here. Chat can come hang out. Um, this back's bad. We got Toxin Analysis is actually pretty good in defensive uh, black decks, you know, with your agents and your uh, your stuff. So I think the uh, the Toxin Analysis. These last few backs have been kind of bad. I'm not gonna lie. Uh, I don't want to play any of these cards, but I guess like Make Your Move is playable. I'm not sure. I don't think we're gonna play it in our main deck, but another pretty bad pack. Okay, another pretty bad pack. Okay. So, like, not sure where we're going yet, but... <laughs> We've had first World Souls Rage, yes. I think the second World Souls Rage is actually a lot worse than the first, uh, because there's definitely diminishing returns, like a big X spell. That being said, it is great with Escape Tunnel. Uh, if we can pick up, like, two or three tunnels, that'd be insane. Uh, or some Self Mill. It's kind of a fun thing to build around, honestly. We got Dual Leech, Tin Screed Gossip, Tunnel Tipster... The problem is we don't have any, have any other green cards, so we're not really green. Probably just splashing it. So, like, uh, we got an agent here also, which is super sweet. But I think we just rage. Uh, honestly. Like, I think we're, like, base black. And then other colors we'll just kind of figure out. But I'm taking a second rage. And now we're trying to be all in on, like, any sort of self-mill escape tunnel stuff. Uh, because that can be a really cool like way to ramp and find lands and stuff. So kind of cool. Uh, we got Galvanize, Case the Burning Masks, Nervous Gardener, Extract a Confession. Um, I mean, Extract is pretty good. We If we think our base color is black, we'd like to take a card in our base color. I guess like, we kind of like, have to be green if we're going to be super multicolor. Um, so like Gardener is also very reasonable too. Galvanize and Extract. Can't take any of the double red cards, obviously. All right, we'll take Gardener. Uh, relive the Past. Torch the Witness. Shock. So red's a little bit open here, which is nice. <clears> There's <throat> more X-Spells, you know. Um, yeah, we'll Torch. We'll Torch. Why don't you start investigating over here? Wow. Another Gear Drake. Jeez. Also, Prof's... Adetic Memory, which is actually a really good card also, but I think we're not that blue. And it looks like we're kind of like selling into red and green, so Galvanize is great also. This card is really, really good, but not really for what we're trying to do here, honestly, if we're like a multicolory deck. So let's just take Galvanize here. Take a rule spell. Kind of settling into maybe base red, green. Slam a land, I think. Uh, Mortuary is excellent, obviously. And obviously we're splashing colors. And, you know, Eavesdropper is fine, but replaceable, I think, in our deck. So... Ninja Day Reset, thanks so much. Sama Reset, thanks so much. Take the Mortuary. More good lands, please. I absolutely love Sanitation Automaton and that's like decks like this. You need to do something on turn two. It blocks, and then you can always cast it. Because even if you're a multicard, like you still have the right lands for it. And then you get to surveil also and fix your mana and so on and so forth. And uh, putting lands in the graveyard is also awesome for our rages too. So Automaton is phenomenal in this deck. Uh, slam dunk, super happy about it. Uh, specialist is good. You know, we're still figuring out what colors we are and stuff, I guess, but, uh, you know, a more for the good upside is great. Uh, gadget technician is less interesting, obviously, because we, uh, 
I don't like it in Morphin Studio. Hey, whatever, sure. It's just like fine. So now it looks like we're not that black, actually. Um, we could take in, you know, a number of black cards in pack one, but that might not be our thing here. So it's like fine. Just take Creeper. I want some more fixing. That's what I want. Um, more escape tunnels. Green doesn't even seem like super open either. We don't really need to like worry about double colored permanents from Nim, is it that much? Like, we'll just get a few and just a 6 6 flyer, and like, it's kind of just, you know, upside bonus. So, all right. So, right now we are kind of all over the place. Uh, but red and green seem to be our our base colors. Um, splashing blue, black, maybe white. We're going places. Pack three, help me out. Assassin's Trophy, another Torch the Witness. Torch the Witness is phenomenal. Yeah, I'm totally getting a clue. Right. Whipcracker, Slice, Dog Walker, Automaton, Crook. Yeah, it's a pretty easy torch here. So now we're definitely like base reddish, maybe base red green. And just splashing everything else, I think is probably where we're going to be. Whipcracker is also good too, but like we're not reliably going to cast it early. So Torch just too much better. So take the Torch. Axbane Ferox. I mean, this card is just really good. It's obviously more of an aggressive card, but it's super solid. Um, yeah, again, still looking for fixing, but I'm just going to take the rare. Really want some, like, self-mill stuff. You know, I'd love to find, like, the 1-3 the elf that mills, you know. All right, so we have a, another escape tunnel here. I think, take, I think escape tunnel is, like, more important than literally anything in our deck. If we can guess World Souls Rage for two, kill a creature and get a land back, that's insane. And then it gets better as the game goes on. So I think the escape tunnel was just like so important for us in so many ways that I'd take it over almost anything. So even though push pull is pretty good, confession's pretty good, just a slam tunnel. If we can get one more tunnel, I'd be stoked, uh, ecstatic. But instead, we get Pride of the Hole Clade, oh my which is God, fine. Becky. It's not a bad card, honestly. Also, a murder, murder is too hard to cast. Um, I think Pride's fine, honestly. Just like a big idiot blocks well. I think it's totally reasonable. Um, yeah, it's cool. Maverick is also... Maverick's also actually okay. You know what, actually? I think I'll have the Maverick. Because we have two World Souls Rages, Milling Lands is just so good. And it just blocks early. I'll take the Maverick. We definitely got some graveyard stuff going on for sure, so... Uh, Eliminator is cool, but too hard to cast. If they went this way, I'd really prefer to not play this card if possible. Um... I think we're just, I think we're just, we're just like taking a warden here. Warden just like fine, big dumb idiot. Yeah, man. It's also a multi card card for Nib, which is cool as well. But uh, man, I really want some fixing here. You know, uh, eliminate the impossible is very good, but it's obviously a weird card in our deck, and everything else here is kind of bad though. So, Whisper is like, I don't know. It's all right. You know, it's not great. I don't think. Eliminate. It's a higher upside card. Case of a shattered pack. Sign me up. Oh, it's Lightning Helix! Oh my god! Obviously a mana fixer, and then if you ever get Niv in play, just like the stones. Uh, you get to solve it and get crazy stuff going on. So that's awesome. Love it. Alright, we couldn't get one more copy of Escape Tunnel. We did get a Blood Spatter analysis. That's actually a really good card. Um, obviously quite hard to cast. It's also a multicolor permanent for Niv, too, though. So we gotta just take that, I think. Alright, so... Our mana base is uh, a wild ride. We table the Whipcracker, which is fine, I guess. Um, I'm in. We're going to have some serious deck building to do here, that's for sure. But, all right. You wanted it, you got it. Here we are. Niv-Mizzet uh, version 2.0. And... <laughs> cut. Make your move. The Auditor... I mean, I don't know if they're playing Nightwatch, but uh, let's, let's see what we got here. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Choose basic land arts. Oh, my God. All right, so I don't think the draft is going to figure this one out, honestly. Yeah, he's got no way. It just can't. It can't handle a five-color decks. It doesn't know what to do. Um, all right, you get all the lands out of here. And what the hell are we doing? We start by color here. I just built like a sealed deck, actually. Let's just do this. <laughs> Alright, so we actually don't have any green cards. Like, Rio, Rio wasn't even that open. We've got Maverick, Gardener, Ferox, Creeper, uh, Cracker, Rage, Rage, 
morph. Nib visit this thing, this thing. Okay. Um, all right. We're doing ugly lands. Thanks, guy. Braden resub. Thanks so much. Uh, so, yeah. I mean, definitely torch, torch, galvanize. A good removal spell, which is great. Um, we're playing the walker and the technician. Even though they're a little hard to flip, they're still just like morphs, which is fine. Lazav. Uh,. I mean, are you playing the agent? I don't know, honestly. Uh, we do have a decent number of clues. The detonation is like kind of fine, actually. We have like clue, clue, clue. It's not that many, I guess. But uh, playing blood spatter analysis. Right now, we currently have no white cards. Maybe we're just playing one planes. I guess special. We play, we're playing a lot of like off color morphs, which is like kind of fine, but. Uh, are you playing the agent? Right now we're at base red, green, triple splash the others. I think playing detonation's fine. So now red, green. We've got about three more slots here. Uh, Nightwatch is also just fine too. Just like a fine morph to block with and stuff. Um, I would say like agent Nightwatch maybe is our, is our place to be. We're definitely morphing a lot, that's for sure. Um, toxin analysis is probably not for us. This is a freaking pile, folks. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Woo, boy. All right. Um, double escape tunnel, double Skyland. I think it's just another night watch. Uh... Toxin analysis. Maybe it's toxin analysis, actually. What's up, Draven? You want to see what we're up to, huh? It's something. Uh, yeah, I'm not going to make your moves. We have a bunch of rule spells. Anyway, case file orders. No, is no. We have, what, one enchantment? Yeah, two enchantments. Uh, not worth it, obviously. Um, limit, it's not really going to work. I think it's just it, folks. This is our deck. So we have Falls, Mortuary, Double Tunnel. And we're going to play a lance, awkward lands for Sky. So we got, let's play, I haven't played Urza in these lands yet. So we have one planes, probably just one island, honestly. Um, I mean, obviously at minimum one swamp. It's probably just one swamp too though, right? Like... Um, we have the falls, the mortuary, and we're like base red green. So if we do, sorry, Sky wanted ugly lens like this, and then like so. This is. Eight red, eight green, four black, four blue, three white. As far as fixing goes, we have Case of Shatter Pact. We have a Nervous Gardener. And obviously, we have two fetch lands, which isn't too bad. Um, I think this is fine. Um, yeah, I think this is. Uh, I think when all is said and done that this is our deck so you know what that means folks it's prediction times time to place your bets what do you think seven wins yay or nay five color niv mizzet wonky town all right youtube folks take us like a pause the video scroll to the comments like in the video along the way and let me know what you think seven wins yay or nay five color madness let's freaking go we're on some let's do this all right, here we are. Chat coming out with me. And uh, we got a brewski here, folks. We got some non-believers in chat. But we got uh, Sianka22 says, I love this type of draft deck. Hooker that makes you feel like a sorcerer in front of his cauldron. Shoulder of a table. The soup is ready. Love it. All right, so let's get out of here. And uh, we can keep this. Punch mulliganed. We have a, a maverick to find our lands. We can figure this out. Keep this. Rock and roll. Maverick, help me out, friend. 
Goblin Mass Maker. Our opponent's coming in. All right, so Maverick's going to surveil and find us some more colors here. We're going to find a Dog Walker and a Mountain. Uh, we can do both of those, actually. Sure. We can keep those. We're obviously inclined on a mill lands for World Souls Rage, but, like, I think just casting our spells is good, too. So, all right. Turn one Mass Maker on the play is about the only time this card's good. So, they're going to let us have it here, the Morph. I suppose it could be almost anybody. All right. So, our hand's a little slow. I'm not going to lie. We got... I guess planes go. Next turn is Morph Dog Walker. Yeah, I mean, honestly, our hand's a little awkward. Just Boros on the play. Oh, thank God they have no freaking three drop. Oh, what a gift. All right, so we're just going to play a Morph. And then we're going to, I guess, attack. We're going to block it. So attack for one. I guess if it, if it was Dog Walker, I might better not attack there. Yeah, you know what? I think that's a bad attack. If this is Dog Walker, they flip it, and then I have a good blocker, so... Alright, so we're just gonna take this again. Uh, which sucks, but... What do you got, friend? On the job! Why don't you start investigating over here? So, like, that's fine. We're still at 9. We have Axe Bane, Ferox. It's probably just staying back on D, but... Just say go, yeah. I think we're just, like, in stay alive mode, so... Three cards and a clue. The Lord of the Rings. The salted pork is particularly good. Crack the clue. Good start. Good start. You know, on the job is a lot better than prior cards like this because you can just cast it like, like that. Kind of like just cast it, but obviously you still want to get some value off it if possible and didn't really do too much there. We got Dog Walker and we got Torch the Witness. Could just torch the morph. Uh... The fact that they didn't attack with it, it's hard to tell what it is. If it was the 3-2, they would have flipped it at some point for extra damage. Or Dog Walker. So, is this like a high-quality morph? Could be. Um, obviously, just torching and getting a clue is pretty good, too. So, I think I'm in for that. We'll just torch it. Uh, X equals 2, and then we'll pay the, uh, the word cost. See, so yeah, I'll just do that. Torch this. Pay the ward. And we get a clue, and it was a offender at large. Perfect. Honestly, surprised. They must, they must have not had land five. Because, like, otherwise they would have just attacked last turn and not cracked the clues. So they must have drawn land five. So their hand must be all spells. Again, deduction is really important. De limited and magic in general is all about deduction, right? Just simple, like, okay, well, if they did this because of this, they could have had this and this and this. So, like, we now know, have a good idea what their hand is, but they didn't play any creatures of the last few turns either. So, it could be kind of conditional spells or tricks or something. Uh, but I would imagine that would have been able to just attack last turn with this, given the options. So, I think the Axe Bane comes in, but just the Axe Bane. So, deduction, very important. Oh, neighborhood detectives, huh? It's elementary, my dear Watson. Person of interest, sure. You weren't looking for me by any chance. They play another land. Were I guess you? it's possible that they didn't have a thing. All right, so we draw a World Souls Rage. We can cast that. I think I'd rather just crack a clue, though. Try to make a land drop. Have Dog Walker up. Crack the clue. Yeah, I'm totally getting a clue. That's a blue source. Unfortunately, it still can't cast any of our spells, but let's surveil. And we see uh, a card we can't cast. It's Bennett. And now, is the Ferox getting in, or are we just chilling here? I think we're just chilling, because our hand's still pretty juiced, so... I guess we have pretty good blocks. Actually, they, 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 yeah, just attack. Attack for four, just go. We've got uh, a 3-1 and a 1-1 we can block. I think we're in okay shape here. More blockers next turn, also. That's land number seven for them. And they also have mulligans, so they're obviously lower on resources than normal. Maybe the attack was a little aggressive. I don't know. What do you think, chat? Was this was this attack too aggressive? Am I being crazy? If I'm out of line, you can tell me. I'm not I'm not I'm not shy, you know. And don't forget, YouTube folks, take a second. Like the video. Leave a comment. Support the channel. If you like Bronze Mythic, it's part of your routine. If it's things you like, if you like watching it, alright? Uh, I like that you like to watch it, so support the channel, please. Draw to reset. Thanks so much.
All right. Well, they have a due diligence, which is extremely aggressive here, obviously. Uh, so we're going to take four, unfortunately, but that's fine. We'll just uh, double block this 4-4 four, four and kill it and make some more blockers. We get a Maverick in our graveyard also. Let's flip the old dogger. Show yourself. We're at five. We can always World Souls raise the person too. Oh, he drew escape tunnel. Oh, it's now we're doing it. Oh my god! So now I get to just escape tunnel. Crack it for a swamp. If I can find the swamp in this smorgasbord of lands. And then we're gonna World Souls Rage X is four on the person of interest. Return the land. Sick value. And they have a 1-2 and one card in hand. I think we're going to attack. We have chump blockers. Wild block person of interest. Uh, yeah, you're right. I don't, I don't know why I block. I mean, I was just going to kill the other one anyway, but you're, you're right. Y'all right. Hi, I'm Jim. Scoreboard. Game. Blouses. 1-0 and the big one. We're in Diamond in Draft 13. It's an awesome place to be. I'm stoked. And folks, I gotta say, I haven't made, made, made my actual like uh, proper ad yet, but another awesome place to be is where I'm sitting right now. We're brought to you by Anthros, all right? New chair, new chair company, phenomenal. It's high end, all right? This is not a, uh, this is not a cheap product, but this is a extremely high quality product for taking care of your body in a thing you do literally all the time. You work from home, if you, uh, if you, you know, do content, you work at an office, whatever it is, you spend so much of your time sitting that it's just so important to take care of your body. I'm sitting in my new chair right now. It's freaking awesome. See that bottom bar right there? It's the pelvis support, which is like a total game changer for chairs. Uh, it's so customizable. It's freaking awesome. All right, folks. And uh, use promo code GYM200 for $200 off your order. Take care of yourself. Invest in your body. All right. I always say, shoes, bed, chair. The things that are between you and the floor are the most important things to invest in. I had a Herman Miller. I replaced it. And I'm, I'm stoked, honestly. It's got a good lean to it, too, but it keeps in the right spot. It's awesome. Check them out. Anthros. Links in the description. Links in chat. And uh, support the content. Hashtag sponsored. Big fan of Anthros. They're a brand new sponsor. And I'm stoked to work with them. And uh, check them out. No sneakerhead arc for me. I'm not a. I'm not an aesthetics guy. All right. I'm a. I'm a. Oh my god, this hands ridiculous. Uh, I'm not an aesthetics guy. I'm a. I'm a u utility guy. All right. I want things to be nice and work well. I don't care what it looks like. So. I'm not a guy who's going to be buying up. You know, six thousand dollar Nikes or whatever. I just want good, nice shoes that are comfortable. Um. Obviously, any land cast gardener, which. Gets us to the next stage, you know, getting, maybe getting a mountain, getting a thing. That being said, though, I, I can't keep this in the play. Uh, on the draw, I would keep this. Yeah, I'm a big function guy. Function over form. All right, I'm going to mulligan. Yeah, that's what he is. All right, so this hand is better, obviously. You're going to bottom these world soul rages, obviously, because just it's an X spell. Uh, we need some help here. That's an island. We can keep that. All right, so we can't cast our cracker yet. We've got Torch. We've got Specialist. Try to make it work. Um, yeah, let's say go. We really want to draw our escape tunnels with World Souls Rage. It's huge. Draw another mountain. All right. Don't really need another mountain, but sure. I'm going to be a master of disguise. They got Panther going. They get a swamp. The Whip Cracker. Whoosh. We draw a Dog Walker. All right, so we can just like torch this guy. I'll just play a Morph. I mean, trading my specialist for the Cracker is not great, honestly. Um, I might just attack and then Morph. If they, if they want, if they block, they block. Whatever. All right, sure. So that kind of sucks, but it is what it is. Obviously, just a, just a bounce spell. So, like trading that, trading off Dog Walker would have sucked, you know. But. I'm going to be a master of disguise. All right, so. Play another Morphin Sigma. I mean, it literally could be anyone. Locks it on Eve's dropper, eh? All right, so we're going to just jam here. Uh, hope they block. Dog Walker trade, make some tokens, and then Maverick. 
They don't block. All right, so now we're gonna uh, we're gonna torch the witness. I think. Let's look at let's look at our top few cards first. But just gonna kill kill a thing, get a clue, keep the card advantage going. Lance has a forest. I think we're milling like any land here, honestly. And the white card's obviously bad too. Just mill both of these. So ship both of these. Torch the witness. X is two. Goodbye. Get off my get a clue. Let's take you. So we got one land in the bin for World Souls Ridge. We'd love more, but, you know, it's cool. This card's fun. Really fun card. Very weird card, you know, but mixing a, you know, a burn spell and a... Another weird card, for sure. A burn spell and a ram spell, but... No! He killed my clue. That sucks, actually. It's just like... 3G Ravenous Rat, you know? Four. Draw a Vengeful Creeper. I mean... I want to cast World Souls Rage, but I'm just going to attack first. Hopefully they don't block. If they do block, let's flip it. Whatever. Yeah, we, we built a cool standard deck around this card. I put it on, on YouTube a couple days ago, so... Alright, this is cool. So kill this. Let's go to World Souls Rage. X is 2. Kill this. Get, my, get a land back. And, uh, and say go. So, decent value. We're still kind of behind a little bit here, honestly. They just have full four cards and a clue. I think this is a good morph. It could be a problem also, but... Drawing escape tunnel is definitely big for this card. Diamonds are no, they're not! No, no, no! We're not going to be here forever, I promise. I promise! Kind of dodged the platinum plateau, which is awesome. Panther again? Panthering with five lands in play is a little weird. Are they getting another color here, maybe? They are. Okay, so they are, uh, they're Abzan Inspectors. So maybe they're, like, splashing black. I don't even know if they're splashing, actually. It's kind of weird to play a, a, a green-black two-drop and a white one-drop. But then again, like, look at our deck, so... Right? I can't really... Can't really complain too much, but... Alright, so... Now what? Um, Cracker can kill their thing, which is pretty sweet. I always get a jam again just start here they seem unwanting to block with this morph which scares me a bit uh it could be a very nice one if they don't block we're gonna cracker the clue and play a morph creeper uh sure interesting all right so we're gonna go land take down the clue and i'll find you Play a Morph and say go. We're obviously missing uh, white mana for our Nip Mizzet, but, you know, we haven't even drawn that yet, so we'll, we'll get there eventually, right? Two Morphs, both pretty high quality, decent board. We're all in. We have no cards left. They just left four cards in hand, now three, which is scary, but we'll make it work. Throw your diamonds in the sky if you feel the vibe. Oh no. Alright, so this is obviously a really good card to play. Alright, never mind. We, we, we have the antidote. So, uh, this is a great card, great, great, card, great card to play when you have seven lands in play. This card is kind of weird in this format because, like, most decks are pretty fast and the card doesn't really do anything until you get to seven lands. Once you do, it's awesome. Uh, but obviously, we can just creeper it. So, they're going to kill my, my friend there. Now, will they attack? Probably not. They've been very, very careful with this face down card. I'm starting to get some Aurelius Vindicators vibes, getting scared, honestly. Um, yeah. I'm just going to attack with both. And we're just going to let it ride. So, is this, so far, this morph has basically done nothing. And there only are so many morphs that are, like, super high value. It could be, like, the, the, the Overrun guy, too, maybe, but... They're just going to chump block the creeper, which is interesting. It's a pretty good chump block, actually. But, all right, we have to kill this case. Even if it is a Aurelius Vindicator, I can still kill it or whatever. It's fine. So, I guess that we get back some, some value, too. But So, it comes down to 
How valuable is this morph? Do I feel like I need to kill it before they start casing? Like, what can it be besides Vindicator is the question. Um, like this, the 4-4 four -four that does stuff. Yeah, we can't, we can't leave this in play, I don't think. So, all right, we're just gonna flip this. Flip it up. If they have toxin analysis, it's gonna suck, but they have toxin analysis. God damn it. Sure. All right. So, here it is. Hope is more of us not good, basically, is the, is the real ticket here, so. Please don't be a Vindicator. Alright, that's a good sign. Crack the clip. Play a land. Whenever a more so it's always just like, like we always say. Emergency meeting. Something weird is happening. Put it together, find the context clues, and try and figure out what's going on. And you, find, you might find me calling out rares in Bronze and Mythic sometimes. You're like, how does he do that? It's like, well, you know, uh, listen to old Spock. No! That's got to be a soundboard. Uh, got to be a soundboard. Eliminate the impossible. And then whatever, whatever remains, no matter how improbable, must be the truth. Simple as that. All right, so now they attack safely. Play a new morph. Uh, so we're going to attack right back. And I think we're definitely going to kill this morph. Let's attack first, see what's up. Someone have a Discord, put that, put that in Discord, please. Spock's deduction uh, talk. I'm killing this morph right now. I got to know what it is. I got to know. What is it? What is it? What is it? Show yourself. Rift Burst Hellion. So that makes sense, right? So we thought it was some big, powerful morph. Uh, they can't unmorph it. They, they could unmorph it. But, so they, they could unmorph it at some point. Uh, it would have been very, very good if it, if it lived. Not quite Aurelius Vindi Vindi Vindicator, but still like in the same sort of sphere. Oh, no. I guess this is fine. Bone Brute's real good. Uh, really, really good rare, but not what I want to bones in place. It's fine. So. This is totally fine. Block it. Take three. No big deal. We draw a Gardener. Awesome. So we're going to jam with, uh, I think just the 3-1. We'll leave back the 3-1 once to block this. That's that, that was Darbo, too. They're almost dead, actually. Yeah, let's do this. And then Morph Gardener. And then we're just going to play a land. Oh, just like a... They're at six. Pretty close to dead. Can't really attack, honestly, right? I should have probably gotten in for one more. I don't know. It's it's kind of scary because this card also has the, the death life loss trigger. So, like, you know, pump spell here and a, a something there. But that, that's going to work out fine for us. So. After it was all Sweet. Over, we took us in the house of service pancake. On our way. Let's go. Flip shot, new sub. Welcome to the pile drivers. Don't forget, folks. Pile driver commander night is happening this Saturday. What does that mean? I'll tell you. Boom. All day from four from afternoon to tonight. Well, commander pods fire on Discord. Free to play. We do door prizes. It's a lot of fun. I'll be playing in one of the pods. Come hang out. A great time. If you're a pile driver or a YouTube member, come hang out. You have access to Discord. Come chill. We're going to mulligan this. Uh, we got Mountain Mountain and a uh, five gold card. It's actually uh, an insane hand of the week, honestly. <laughs> like, so we're going to mulligan. All right, so this hand is freaking awesome. World Souls Rage Double Tunnel. Slam this hand. Going to dump the Warden. All right, sweet. Maybe get lucky and mill a, uh, mill a land here, too, at the Surveil. All right, ship it. It's a Gardener. All right, keep that. All right, cool, cool, cool. Let's run a green shot. Get something better. All right, so we're gonna do this. We got a planes. Probably like get morph. Maybe morph tunnel and then world tools for a bunch. We'll see. Maybe I should actually play the tunnel on one, tunnel on two. So I could have, I could have rage for X equals two on turn four. Yeah, I think I was wrong actually. I should have played tunnel, tunnel, not not falls first. 
Kind of just like didn't really think about it, but now I'm actually thinking about it. It's not a it's not great. This is good for us though. All forest and the chips just attacking, not paying a four drop. Love it. Let's go Got Olazav. Olazav's pretty good. Um, huh. So I think we're. Wow. We obviously want to be able to flip both of these. Um, if I play a morph, so I play a morph, I don't really want to block with it. Um, could go Swamp Lazav. That blocks pretty well, actually. Might draw some fire, too. I think we should play Night Watch to block with it, honestly. We could try and get value, but... I think it's fine. Just like play our dude. Beneath this mask, I am crying. You don't want to fall too far behind, so. Could also go like next turn swap Lazav on Morph. That plays also well as well. We got a mountain. A little gruel action. Morph, sure. I'm going to be a master of this guys. I mean, no attacks either. Wow. Okay. All right. I mean, it's funny. We kind of like don't need the World Souls Rage mana anymore. <laughs> Maybe we don't even need to like escape tunnel. Flip shot, gifted subs. Thanks so much, my friend. Appreciate it. Welcome to Pile Drivers. All right, we're gonna Lazav and 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 flip this thing. I think so. Here's Lazav. Tips just insane. I'll discard. Yeah. So let's say go. End step Panther. Kind of weird again. They, have, they already have five mana, so it's kind of a little sketchy. Is it a third color, perhaps? Yes, it is. Swamp. Thanks, Slipshot. You're great. I appreciate it. Aww. I mean, now we're like in the spot we don't really want to block. Um, I guess we're going to, though, right? Uh, I guess if it's exactly the 6 7, we get blown out. If I block. Damn. And they discarded this. So they had things they wanted to spend six mana on, maybe. I guess they wanted to go to the swamp, too. If it's a six, seven, we're in trouble. Uh, we just don't really deal with that super well. What else could it be? I mean, it could be like a five, five. If, if it's anything but the six, seven, we're just fine. We double block, we're stoked. Uh, we either trade and get a two, two, or like get a good trade. This is really tough. They were very careful with it on the early turns and attack with it. I'm gonna block. Lazav can't even attack profit profitably anyway, so just block. Just don't be the six seven, please. Anything God damn it! Like, if it's anything else, it's fine. Any other size morph isn't big enough to really... I guess maybe if it's also the, uh... If it's also this guy. I mean, maybe it's a bad block. I don't know. The problem is, like, we just can't... We're already in trouble if they have this card anyway. Card's not great, you know? Like, we don't block because if it's anything that's a 5-5 five, five or smaller, we kill it. For sure. So. Alright. This is not ideal. Um... We could... Yeah, we're in trouble. We don't have a lot of ways to kill a 6-7, uh, a honestly. All of our rules damage based. Them. I mean, we have two torch winners, I guess. But, alright, let's go... Uh, just Gardner, Morph, Land, go. Probably want to lands, too, but... Alright, so, say go. Tunnel for, uh, I'm not sure. Fire up the inspector. 
pump the morph. <laughs> I don't want to block again. <laughs> Oh, all right. Never mind. I have to block. Sure. All right. Uh, yeah, that's fine. I guess we're getting kind of brown this game, folks. T the tipster draws are so good. Tipster's just awesome. Um, let's get a forest, I suppose. Sack this and get a. I don't know islands. And we got a block. Take six. All right, that was a phenomenal draw. Um, I get to torch the witness, kill the hellion, and then play a land too. Get a clue. This is great. That was that was huge, 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 huge. So eight damage to the hellion. Get a clue. Play mortuary, revealing a automaton in the bin. And then we'll just say go. And then next turn we can world souls rage the ambusher. Right? No, we're one short actually. Leave my clues alone! <laughs> Why do they keep killing my clues? Feel that that is almost online. Another inspector, but that's pretty good. Um, uh, this is 10 damage? I think we're just dead. Yeah, I'm uh, probably just dead here, but we can do. Scrupulous agent. <sighs> All right. Gonna keep playing, I guess. Hey, Karn, how are you? Aww. Let's go to Mountain, obviously. All right, so X is three. We kill this, we draw another torch. Get back both tunnels. We're doing it, you know, but... Jump this, take five, and draw... Not even sure. Alright, it's a thing. It sucks. I feel like we lost the morph lottery, you know? Like, maybe we should, maybe, maybe we should have blocked, obviously, but... And here's Niv Mizzet. We were just already, already dead on board. No, Niv Mizzet, why would you do this to us? There you go. Yeah. Yeah, maybe it was a bad block. I don't know. It's fine, I guess. Is it? It is. We'll take the L. If I don't block there, maybe we're fine, but that's all right. GG. All right, try it again. Uh, hand's pretty good. We can keep this. Can't flip Walker yet, but like you know, we're on the draw. I'll figure it out. Point Mulligans. We're gonna keep. Do, 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 do. The mask maker. I'm going to be the master of this guy. Make me a mask. All right. Yeah. I mean, obviously, mask maker on the play is like the literal one time it's very good. Uh, aside from that, it's a pretty bad card, but I, I like it. It's cool. I mean, it literally could be anyone. A world Souls Rage? Sure. I mean, our hand's a little slow, and they are on the play, so. It's a little scary here, but. Down to 16. Don't play a good 3-drop, please. Oh my god. Uh, I like this card. I, everyone at the, at the, the, the Pro House was, was saying they hate this card. I think this card's fine. It's not, like, good. But, like, as far as, like, a filler beatdown creature goes, it's super solid. Um, Alright, so we have Axe Bane next turn. Obviously, we can't block this stupid, pompous douchebag, but... Um, Alright, let's play this Morph... Play land, two cards left. If they have like trick trick here, we're probably just dead. But Oh, thank god they don't. Alright, cool. Alright, sweet. So Pompous guy gets in. They don't have pump spell, obviously, so they're to be able to play our morph, so. Disguises. So we're just gonna kill uh the Pompous guy, I think. Could play Axe Bane, but it just trades there anyway, so 
Um, our mana is pretty bad right now, of course, but this deck really wants to draw our Evolving Wild, you know? Kill this. Say go. Hopefully they're just out. They did mulligan this game also, so hopefully we can just, like, you know, chill a little bit. There's a forest. This turns on all the size morphs. Ugh. Uh. Stupid morphs. Who's in charge? Me or the devil? I think I'm in charge. Do we block, and if so, what do we block, you know? The fifth land turns on the morph rule. I think we have to block. Um, and then it's like, is it the first one? It's like, well, probably the first one, I would think. They were careful about it. They didn't They didn't attack with it early on. I mean, second one, actually. Because they they, didn't, they could have attacked with it uh, into my morph and chose not to. And this one was fresher. All right, I'm going to block. Just, like, probably going to get sized out here, but, yeah. Perfect. All right, well, that's gross. Miss a land drop, also gross. We're just going to Axe Bane and just try and block this, I guess. Obviously, we just need time to draw our uh, our cards here. This is definitely a pretty pretty on-the-play format for sure. There's land six. If this is another freaking Hellion, I'm going to lose it. Oh, my God. Bite down on crime. That looked like the targeting interface for bite down on crime. Oh, they can't. They have a. They have a we, have, we have ward. We got a ward. All right. Um, blocking. We could block here. We're like froggy, but I think this is fine. It's the double strike. Puts me to three. And we can't cast a single card in our hand. Alright, yeah, I mean, Occupational Hazard, we're playing a five-color deck, what are you going to do? You know, maybe I should mulligan for uh, Evolving Wilds a little more aggressively, but whatever, I guess. Like, kind of stinks just like being on the draw. They just had Mass Maper on turn one, which is pretty bad most of the time, but like, good turn one on the play. Like, it's one of those games, you know? Like, whatever, it is what it is. No worries. Remember, folks... You Check me out on TikTok. One, one card in Pioneer. What would it be and why? I think uh, Underworld Breeds deserves a second chance. Like, that card isn't broken, right? Walking Ballista, so I can play my Hardened Scales Winding Constrictor deck. Unbanned Convict. <laughs> no, just kidding. I think they should unban Underworld. I would have a lot of fun, even though it would be awful for everyone else. Let's unban Inverter and see how that... Check it out. All pros or interviews are up. It's a lot of fun. Check out my TikTok and Instagram. Let's go. Match five. Hands great. Keep... Got our red, got our gardener, we got our tunnel, and our world souls rage. Sla snap keep. If you don't take talk, you can Instagram. If you don't Instagram, you can YouTube short. And if not, come to the year 2024, folks. All right? Water's warm. Come on in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Come on. Can we stop with turn one mass maker on the play? This card's like so bad. Like, I love this card. I love it. It's like a really fun card, but it just like pretty bad if you're not turn one on the play but if you are it's, it's pretty damn good oh my god all right uh we gotta get a mountain here i guess unbelievable we're also also in low gold so we're stone dead all right we got galvin we have, we have more interaction this time around all right thank god all right uh i take it all back um mass maker into public thoroughfare is fine uh i accept that uh that uh that, that arrangement so, get it for two. Or one, I mean. We've got Mountain again. So, we could hardcast Gardener. We could leave up Galvanize. You could play. Just play our, just play our freaking thing. Play this thing. Surveil. Forest to the bin. Love it. Then we got two lands for World Souls Rage. Awesome. So. Waka, waka. You got me. All right. You got a morph too? You got that morph here. You have a morph? Are you serious? So we just saw the upside game of Mass Maker. This is the downside game and why the card's like kind of bad. Uh, because like for every game you draw like the nuts and never to have a perfect curve out with the Mass Maker, you just 
this happens. You just, you just have a one, two, you know? So, um, all right. So we're going to, I guess, morph Gardener. Um, I kind of want a World Souls Rage next turn, actually. Can we just Dog Walker? It's Novice Inspector minus the Clue. Oh. All right, land four. If I have to get frisky with Dog Walker in combat, I will. You know, we don't need the dogs. Sorry, Karn. Galvanite, sure. This is fine, honestly. I don't mind this at all. So, take two more. And then, I think we're just going to Gardener and get a land. Double World Souls Rage, sure. So, this is Gardener. And we'll get a... Uh, Probably island, right? We have like more blue cards than white cards, so. Just fire in a block. Make a land drop next turn. We got World Souls Rage. The Watchdog. Oh, Karn. Sorry, Karn. Aww. I'm gonna burn the hell out of that Watchdog. Sorry, bud. That one's gone. We don't, we don't mess with that one. Oh, no, I screwed up. <laughs> this happened. This happened like. Like, I don't know, a dozen times at the Pro Tour testing house. Not that, that many times. Like, at least three times in the testing house, people didn't realize that this card stops Morphs from turning face up. And I just... I was just too busy talking to Garn and making fun of it. All right, you got me. All right, whatever. It's fine. It doesn't change much, honestly. So, let's do this. Get an island. It's a weird line of text, you know? But, play this. World Souls Rage. X is two. Pop the doggo. Get two, get a land, get two lands back. Oh, yeah, we're doing it. The World Souls Rage. And we're just going to say go here. Not let them get the attack in. All of our colors are here. We got Axe Bane, another World Souls Rage. And they're out of cards. Yeah, this is just... This is the other end of the... Uh, of the... Um, of the Boros equation. So let's get a Plains. Uh, we're just going to hold this World Souls. We'll just go Axe Bane. Attack at both of these and then Galvanize probably. We have Toxin Analysis, too, so they're not, they're not even doing that, though, so. Play land. I'm just going to kill this before we untap, so if they can't play a pump spell or whatever, keep it alive. Just so you go. Downright four-year resub. Oh, yeah. Let's hear it for Downright. Appreciate it. And they got land. And they're, they're flooding badly, too, obviously. But that, that, that's part of the thing, though, is when you have this card in your deck, like, it's a very low-impact card. So when things start to go wrong... They really go wrong because you just have this one mana one two. It didn't do enough, you know. It's like the opposite of novice inspector, which kind of like smooths you out when things are going wrong. So we'll take it. Important to you know that I don't think mass maker is unplayable, uh, but I think it requires a very specific deck. You need to have like nine or ten morphs, probably be red green, have an extremely aggressive curve and a lot of tricks. Like the the one mana red plus two plus zero when it dies, make a detective card is very good with that card. This is just a cheap way to kind of like be able to always attack with it and then trade up. So you can go like, you know, turn three, attack with that. They block, pump, kill, need a 2-2, two, two, play more for two kind of thing. So, all right, this has five, we can keep it. It's not great, but we can work with it. Spoilers use it for Thunder Junction. Ask Mike. Mike knows everything. We're more than halfway to Niv. So we could play with this as a two-drop. We're not going to, though. So just play lands and go. Red, green, no two drop, love it. All right, so we're gonna play the worst morph in our hand as a combat morph. We can draw some lands, obviously. We've now, we've now drawn a few non-lands in a row, so. It's a panther, sure. Explorers start a week from next Tuesday. Of course, we'll have full set review, 10 new brews, bronze to mythic, all the usual stuff as, they, uh, as we always do. Leading right into uh, Leading right into uh, set review, 10 new brews, into the Pro Tour. Also, Command Fest Orlando. Case of the Crimson Pulse. Uh, this is a good card. It's not a good card to play on turn three with no pressure in play, which is awesome for us. So, this case, you solve it by having no cards in your hand. Really good aggro card. Uh, not so good on turn three with no board and seven cards in hand. So, we miss a land, though, which sucks. Uh, we're going to play our our, uh, our Bounty Guy attack. It's a go. Card's very good, though. All right, so they're, they're also playing Mismatch Lands. They're also a player of culture, I suppose. 
Thoughts on the Fallout precons coming out? I have none. I am blank. I don't play Fallout. I don't like Commander stuff. I, I know nothing. I don't care. There are too, too many products to care about these days, so I just ignore them. Simple as that. Malone with the raid. What's up, MTG Malone? Shout out and chat. Bronze to Mythic, episode 13. We're in Diamond already, so we're rolling along, which is great. Karn's hanging out. I'm playing a freaking Niv-Mizzet deck. Picked a great time to tune in, and uh, let's hear from Malone, huh? Let's go. All right, Thundering Falls. We keep it land. And then, I mean, bidding the lands are good for World Souls Rage, but I think I, I want to keep Cast Axe Bane next turn, so. I'm a little worried here. Like, they could have, like, some sort of a Wrath or something like that, but I guess, like, they only have one plane, so. We're just going to jam. Just play everything, attack with this. Play Morphs, they go. If they, like, go Planes Wrath, so be it. I mean, they, they, they fetched a forest off this thing, so. What do you got, friend? Face down card, that's it. My name is Guy Two face down cards, sure. Alright, well, morphs for days. Uh, we're gonna Leroy and let God sort him out. Hold on. Is Ferox coming in, actually? Well, I mean, they think they think for a second. Because if we attack with everything, I guess, like, flipping this one would be great in combat. This one's not good. And this one isn't really that costly. Yeah, I'm going to do this, actually. Let's jam. Let's jam. You figure it out. Malone says, it wasn't for your set reviews. I'd be lost every set. Aww. Very kind words. Appreciate it. Thank you so much. I had a pretty good run uh, in the last set review for this set. Uh, I called out a lot of the cards that ended up being big sleepers. Uh, Cryptic Coat, Aftermath Analyst are all cards that I was a big fan of. So they block my first morph, which is... I wouldn't say it's the best one. It's the biggest one, but it's fine. Uh, I take a bunch of go to six. Let's go. I think I might have had Cryptic Code as my, my, my best in show, actually. I don't recall exactly, but... There's a card people were sleeping on big time early on. Four cards in hand. Seven mana. That's a lot. We need a white to cast Niv. We can cast Rage for three. We have a Fireball in our hand, too, so... Kind of a big deal. Coming to Amsterdam, I'll be there. Yep. Pro Tour Modern Horizons 3. Qualified for that in Chicago a few weeks ago. So I'll be in Amsterdam. I'll be in Seattle. Hopefully I'll be in Vegas and Worlds. That'd be cool too, but we'll see. The ride just keeps on going. I keep waiting for it to stop, and it just keeps going. So here's a Loxodon Eavesdropper. Sure. Um... Hmm. Draw land. What do we want to do now? Is it weird that I want to bounce the eavesdropper? Like, it's kind of weird, right? We give them a clue, but like, we're just going to kill them with fireball, so. MH3 draft to the PT, yep. Yeah, I'm just going to do this. So let's bounce eavesdropper. I can bounce the morph, I guess. I mean, it makes, it makes blocks worse. I just think they can't block this. I should have blocked the, I bounced the morph, actually. I think that was a mistake. I should have bounced the morph. Uh, I'm going to pay the ward. I still have two mana for the uh, the gadget technician. That was a mistake, but it's fine. We'll attack. I think we're fine either way here. They're going to block the specialist. Okay. Flipperoni. Take off the mask. They go to three, and I have a fireball in my hand. It was an un undercover crocodile. You got some sharp elbows on you. I like that. MH3 will be on Arena, which is phenomenal. Uh, here's an eavesdropper. I was given a fireball sound to put the soundboard. I didn't put it on there. And uh, I don't remember who gave it to me. They, were, they weren't very happy about it. Like it wasn't on there. You gotta stand I only have so many buttons. But I might dig it up. Hold on. All right. You ready? Always X spells too. X spells for days. Yo, you ready? I tell baby, 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 I'm a fireball. So it's a pretty good one. Maybe I'll add that one to the soundboard. All right, there you go. Okay, we got it. We got a win. We're four and two. Let's go. All right. 
just, just, just a, an actual hand of the week factory. Um, I think we're going to keep, like, we have the Mortuary to find a third land. We've got a Blood Spider analysis for a Bull Spell. We've got two Morphs we can cast. We got to keep this, I think, right? All right, so I'm going to keep. How many rares? When oh, you play five color, that's the whole point of the deck, right? Land on top? Oh, yeah. Oh. Bingo. How about turn two is off? That's great. Wrench. Sure. Ship it. Correct. I'm, I'm going to contact Corsair and uh, send, send some emails, reach out a little bit. Gravestone Strider. So, when a rose attacks, exile a card from a graveyard and then investigate. Obviously, there are no cards in graveyards yet, but... Right, so, we're going to go land... Probably special. We'll attack first and see if we can... Yeah, maybe they don't block, but... There's block. Sure, it's fine. So, block, play a morph. This morph can bounce a creature. And I can blood spider analysis also, so... This card's great. Like rock, it sucks because like rock dress is pretty bad, but this card's awesome. Just two mana removal spell. Eventually get a creature back. Super cool card. So real simple folks. What's going on? Right? If you if you're an experienced, good, good looking, attractive limited player, this should be a major spot for you to be like, alright, what's the deal, right? Say go. Three lands up, five cards in hand, didn't play a morph. Already pretty damning. But they also didn't even equip their 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 equipment. So like murder. Sli if it was a slice, they probably would have killed the face down card, maybe. But something's going on here, obviously. And this is gonna be a spot for us to be like, alright, hold up. What's happening? Alright, let's chill. Um could be a pump spell, could be a or a rule spell, could be a lot of things, right? So we opened up the the idea of like what could it be? And we kind of got to, you know, figure out how best to hedge and play around everything. So, I would say attacking here is a no-no. Um, we're just not going to risk. I guess we have the bounce on this, right? So, we, if they have our move, we could just, like, attack and if they bounce. Things that we, have, we don't have good blocks anyway, though. So, hmm. so is it... I just dog walker. Let's play dog walker as I go. Could be the kill and attacking creature. Could be a murder. Could be a pump spell. Could be a trick. It also could be a Wrath, but, like, there's not enough information on that. It could be, like, the, you know, the Wrath. They're just, like, on tap and Wrath me, but, like, I'm just gonna chill. And now, end step was nothing. So, it's not some sort of proactive thing, which is good. So, now, we made them waste mana on their turn. They assumedly had the thing they could do. They wanted to leave up a trick. We didn't walk into it, so they wasted that mana. And now, if we leave it up again next turn, they want to keep using it. So, so once again, now they play a land. And we're just gonna slowly check them off on the list as we go through of what it could and couldn't be. Here comes the wrench. So, right now, murder. Check it off. It's not murder, right? The two mana exile and attacker, still up. Could definitely be that, right? And that's the likely one. So, you gotta just whittle it down, use the information you have, and kind of go from there. So, um... If it is the attacker one, how do I play around it? I'm not sure. We gotta think about it and figure it out. Uh, Axebane, Ferox, attack. It'd be pretty sweet. Uh, we could also just go attack with the morphs. We could bounce the strider. We could do a number of things here. Also, if it's a plus two plus two, it's this still has death touch. So then we're just gonna, just gonna have for rocks and just attack. Again, if it is a wrath, which it doesn't make sense, it would be because of last turn. That would suck. But that doesn't make a lot of sense based on the on the prior turn because so they, they, they would have equipped and tried to make a better blocker and like lead into the wrath. So. Here comes Axbane. It's got Ward. It's coming in. They have a pump spell. We'll trade two for one. It's fine. Also putting a card in the yard scrape for our Lazav anyway, so. And that's it. People want to know, like, what's the secret of being a pro magic player or, like, a high level magic player? It's just, like, constant deduction. Constant, like, you know, take every... Every time your opponent does a single thing in a game of Magic the Gathering... That's a piece of information. And good players take that piece and file it away and use it profitably. Every time. Everything they do. What land they tapped. Did they mulligan? How many cards do they keep? What cards do they play? The order they play the cards in. 
in a paper game, how do they play a certain card? There's, there's information everywhere. All right, I don't like that. So they chump block. Oh my God, it's a wrath. That blows. So, sucks a lot. You know, uh, I don't think... I think that was a fairly well-disguised Wrath, unfortunately. Like, them not equipping on turn three sold it for me. Where if they had the Wrath, they should just equip there. And just, like, try and make it look like they don't have anything else going on. So, I don't know if that was an accidental play. I made you the Wrath or whatever. But ended up being, like, a much better play regardless. Uh, that being said, we're just going to keep battling here. Our hand's still fine. We have blood spider analysis to get things back. We have, you know, an agent. We have a removal spell that draws a card. Uh, so, and that's where really high-level magic comes in. Where, like, I don't know how good my opponent is, obviously, but if they were, like, a world-class player and they were trying to get me to not think they had a wrath, I think, it, like, leading mana up on turn two, on turn three, and equipping on turn four is a great way to do that. You know, so, they exile a treacherous greed. Sure. So they've got four cards in hand. We got to beat with a torch and a blood bowl, blood spider. And again, that's why rats and limited you're usually kind of iffy because like you can usually smell them coming. But that one was very well disguised. So props to our opponent. Again, well played. Unless they just drew it, in which case like they weren't setting it up and they just happened to draw at the right time, which is also possible too. So you got morph equip. We got blood splatter. Um, we're just going to fire up the old blood spider analysis here. Uh, this guaranteed kills this. This kills a bigger thing later. So kill this. Pay the ward. So if our creature dies, we get to mill a card. And then we get to uh, put a counter on it. It was a savior. Sure. We're going to hold a card in our hand because they have their own agent. Which they go. And, I mean, as things die, we can eventually get back a Ferox or a Lazav. Just got to keep playing. One fireball down, one to go. We have two World Souls Rage. There's a face down card, and then a wrench again. Right. I think that, uh... They can exile response, though, which is kind of gross. Is this, is this target? It does target, unfortunately, but... Alright, so we're going to torch this. Uh, so X is 2 is 4. Yep, that's perfect. Target this. Pay the ward. This is actually a punt. Uh, I should have tunneled first. If I mill a plane, so you already be super sad. I milled a Rebel Belt Maverick. Sick value. Alright, attack for one. Just gotta keep going. Just gotta, there's another Sanguine Savior. Sure. Alright. I mean, they might exile the Maverick, but... Ooh, Interrogators? Sure. So, uh... It's big. It's a big card. What's up, drawing? Alright, so let's get our planes. Where the hell is Niv Mizzet? Like, right? Alright. Uh, I'm gonna attack and just hope they play. There's no way they ever block here, right? Um, I mean, I am blocking, so I never attack. They did not use the ability in the Wrath, though. No. Alright, so they take one. Right, we're just gonna draw a card. There's my boy! Oh, it's Lazy Helix! Oh my god! The Guild Pact awaits. Please don't kill this. They have a lot of cards in their hand. I guess they have a Tapper, too, but. I wish this card was pro monocolor. It'd be a lot better, you know? So, this Niv Mizzet not nearly as good as some past Niv Mizzets, but Pro Monica are broken. It's a creature that costs one mana of every color. It should be, should pay you off pretty well for that, you know, like. What do you got, friend? Turn's gone. Oh, 
Honestly, Nib isn't, isn't even that good. It's just like a 6-6 six, six flyer for 5, and occasionally we'll deal one and draw one or whatever, you know? Put the wrench on, sure. This thing is pretty hard for us to kill. Yeah, hopefully their hand is just like, Vindicate, uh, Utter End, um... That's your YouTube comment of the day. Name a multicolored black-white removal spell that can't be uh, here. So their attack, we're not going to block. This thing can tap my nib also, which sucks, but... This thing's big. We have, like, another, uh, another Torch the Witness. We have Toxin Analysis. Anguished on making. Great. That's one, too. What's going on here, friend? What are we doing? Hello? Three to tap is a lot. It's obviously when they went super late in the game, it's useful, but like, it's definitely costly. Remember, folks, if you haven't followed the stream with that follow button, watching you YouTube, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, support the content. The Whipcracker. All right, so we have two green. I'm going to Maverick onto the agent and then move to combat. Let's see if we can sneak in a, uh, oh, shh. So, before I did that, you might have noticed I paused briefly because I was checking to see if I had double green for Whipcracker, right? So, I, I want to make sure I cast Whipcracker. Unfortunately, uh, I didn't go further than that and see that my green lands also my black lands. Now, I can no forecast this and then no longer cast this, which kind of sucks. Uh, but, sure, is it it is. That's not good. That's a little, little punto there, but sure. Tap this thing, get it for two. Um... Would have loved to have cast the Cracker. Uh, this was really, that was really, really bad. Big punt on my part. I just didn't look at my lands. I would have killed the clue here. Had another multicolor permanent in play. Had nothing to attack with also. So, a little bumped. A little bit of a, a, a punt there. But that's fine, I guess. Whoops. Whoopsie. Here's land seven. Got vigilance too. Right. It was a really nasty rat. It's like, it's like you almost forget that I got rat. I got four for one rat this game. All right, take six. I think I could have played around it. I don't know. It's tough. You always want to feel like you could have played around it, you know? Oh my god, are you kidding me? I guess I have a galvanized, but. This card's busted. Alright, Galvanize. You're dead. They need to make a... They're gonna, they would make a clue end step, so I gotta do it now. And then we'll sack this clue and make a token. Now I can kill the token too, which is kinda nice, so... Alright. Kill this. They have a trick. That would suck. <laughs> Alright, that's dead. Blood spell. It's not a clue in response either. Wow. Cool. All right. So, mill. No! Hello, darkness, my old friend. I needed that one. We really needed that one, folks. Uh. All right, that's really, really bad for us. It's our only real answer. I guess we have another, another uh, World Souls Rage, but... Oh, man. All right. Untap. Mega Tilt. I'm going to upkeep tap Nib, is it? I, sure, I guess. We draw a Forest. Vomit. Kill the Clue. Take two. We're like pretty close to dead, honestly. Yeah. I mean, again, the Wrath, it's, it's always all, all the Wrath this game. I mean, we started, once I cast that Wrath, we were at like a, you know, a major disadvantage in the game, but. 
Wrench doing work. Then we're going to two here. Gabriel Nassif. What's up, folks? Bonjour, mon ami. How's it going, Shatters? Bronze the Mythic. We're doing some Niv Mizzet action. And uh, we are four and two. Unfortunately, we got cover ups really bad this game. Opponent either did a really good job playing and concealing it or just drew it, one or the other. We're not sure which, but uh, we got baited pretty hard. Usually it's kind of easy to sniff those out, but uh, the Wrath Hurt, we're trying to recover. Just milled towards the witness to our, our Blood Splatter, which stinks also, but just trying to battle through it. First, remember that follow button, of course. If you don't follow to see if you're an idiot, one of the best Magic players of all time, best content creators of all time. Game's great. Very fortunate team with him at Pro Tours. And, uh, what's up? All right, so uh, I guess we're going to uh, just go to two here. Sucks, but. All right. We draw, we draw the World Soul's Rage, actually. So now we can kill the Interrogators. But now they have an active Tessa, so we can't beat that either. Oh, man, when it rains, it pours. Uh, so... Damn. <laughs> All right, combat. We actually are one short of killing the, this guy anyway, so... They tap this. We kill Tessa. They crack the clue in response. Yeah, no attacks. This is bad. Fireball for, uh... We'll just do, like, a lot. Because we not doing anything anyway. So, uh... Okay, whatever. Kill this. Get back a land or two. But I don't think we can beat, uh... Tessa Interrogators and the Clue and everything else. We, uh... I got a over our torch. So, like, I don't really have any way to kill this Interrogators anymore. Um... Yeah, I just don't, so. Stack the glue, make a token. Tess is so good. Bring Tunnel back. Trigger Mill. And we're still one off of this thing. Yeah. Alright, friend, what do you got? Put the wrench on the spirit and tap my thing and kill me? Hope not. All right, yeah, I mean, them's the beats. This is the kind of game where, like, this happens in StarCraft a lot. Where there's, like, so there's, like, some really, really, like, brutal engagement early, and a player falls really far behind, but they're still in the game. Uh, but, like, they're just playing on the back foot for, like, many, many, for, like, a long time. They didn't use it. Uh, but they're not going to kill me? Oh, yeah, it, it, it killed me either way. Uh, so, like, once the guy's that Wrath is a four-for-one, we're so behind. We're still in it, still playing, but, like... Ugh, so far behind. All right, so that sucks. Kind of a stinker one. Um, went 4-3. Eh, we're, we're a nip visit duck, you know? So let's look at our stats see how, how it all shook, shook out. So, went 4-3. Um, I think 5-color is, like, very doable in this format. Uh, I think the our deck was... It was fine. I would have liked a little more early interaction. A little more fixing. Uh, it's funny, we had two World Souls raids. They're pretty good in our deck. I would have loved the third escape tunnel, honestly. Uh, would have loved, like, the 1-3 Analyst. Like, I, I, I could definitely see this deck being a lot better in that regard. Uh, and maybe some of the black removal as well to actually kill larger things. Uh, but yeah, could have played better probably in at least one of those games, I think. But overall, fun deck, pretty cool. 4-3, we'll take it. We're in Diamond now, and let's rock and roll. Episode 13 in the books. Episode 14 coming up. YouTube folks love you. Like, comment, subscribe. Let's do this.